I even got a new light. Well, that's the old light that I was using before I bought that one that broke. The last three videos on Death by Bungie rant videos complaining about different products. It's been a rough couple of weeks here in the kingdom of Bungie. It's been a rough crossbow appreciation month, hasn't it? But we're getting some of the bugs worked out and we'll have an update this week on the Burris Oracle X scope situation that's coming. Hopefully that works out for the best. We're going to find out. But I think it's time to do a video about a product that I really do love. One that has been with me through thick and thin for almost all of my crossbow hunting career. One product that I keep going back to, even though I've experimented here, experimented there, I always come back to it. One product that I can't see myself hunting or shooting crossbows without. The Burt Coyote Luminoc. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. I love the Burt Coyote Luminoc. Those of you who are friends of Bungie going way back, you know that I love the Burt Coyote Luminoc. I love everything about it. What I have in my hands here is an old Excalibur Firebolt arrow from Easton Arrows. It says right on here, Easton, right? I don't use a lot of Easton Arrows these days, but I killed a lot of animals over the years with these arrows. I had one of them that I put through, I think, a dozen animals, and I'm not kidding. I bought these arrows with the Luminoc installed. <laughs> That's pretty bright, too. I am extremely happy right now to tell you this, and if you get nothing more out of this video, I want you to hear this message. If you go to Luminoc.com and use coupon code Bungie, you get 15% off your next order of Burr Coyote Luminox. How's that? I'm not sponsored by Luminoc, nothing like that. I reached out to them after I ordered a dozen of them here recently, and I found a coupon code online for 10% off. Took advantage of that. And then I reached out to them, and I said, hey, you know, would you like to help Friends of Bungie get Luminox as well and help me get them on my next order because I'm going to order some more here pretty soon. They were kind enough to do that. So this is a savings that I get when I order Luminox, that you get when you order Luminox. I don't get any money from Burt Coyote or anybody else. I don't get any money when you buy the Luminox. You save the 15% and that's that. And if you buy a dozen of them, you're probably over the $100 mark where you get free shipping as well. That's a pretty good deal. Now it's time for the rant. <laughs> a positive rant. Why I like these so much. There is no substitute for the Burt Coyote Luminox. Period. I haven't tried every knock out there. I've tried the fire knock. I tried the new Fletch igniters. I tried a couple of knockoffs. Pun intended. <sighs> but there is no substitute, and I'll tell you why. Number one, durability. These things work and they last, right? They last a long time. This might be one of the originals. I might have replaced it somewhere along the line, but they last a long time. Now, you'll want to check them out over time. If you shoot them enough, they start to wear a little groove in them or something like that, then it's time to change them. But the batteries are easy to replace, and these things are just a durable knock. They last a long time. I had the Fire Knock on there. George Huang, I love the guy from Fire Knock. I have listened to dozens of podcasts with him. He knows more about arrows, more about archery than I will ever in my lifetime know, but I will not use a fire knock ever again. Managed to install some of them, got them to work, got glue all over my hands, and they broke at the meet and greet. The first time we hunted with them, it broke, and the knock was broken, and there was blood inside the arrow, and it got all over the circuit board. Why is there a circuit board? I don't even understand that. Did you see how many pieces are in those knocks? Somebody told me you just need to learn how to use them. You just need to learn how to install them. No, I don't. I don't need to know how to do that. I can go the rest of my life, go the rest of my crossbow hunting career without knowing how to install those or make them work. I don't care because I already have this and it works perfectly. These are more important to me than the crossbow itself. I like these knocks and insist on a Burt Coyote Luminox so much that I can tell you right now, where I stand right now here today in 2023, I'm not going to shoot a crossbow if it doesn't accept a Burt Coyote Luminox. If they don't make a knock for that crossbow, that crossbow's arrows, I'm not going to shoot that crossbow, period. The simplicity, right? It's the simplest little thing in the world. You just slide it in here. It doesn't have a circuit board and a spring and a battery and all this other jazz. It's just a piece of plastic with a light inside it. It's all one piece and a battery that goes in there. You don't have to glue an insert in here and then, you know, put the thing in there and get it to work and all that stuff. It isn't complicated. You slide it in there and it works. It's simple. 
the new Excalibur Knox. Excalibur, such a great company that we talk about how it's just simple and it works and, and how great that is. And then they come out with a knock that has a built-in light switch in it, like the one on your wall, right? And it's got a groove and it's got an insert and it's got all... You're making it too complicated. You're making it too difficult. I get that they have to do that for their anti-dry fire system, but that's not my fault. That's not my fault. That doesn't mean that I should have to suffer. An actual physical switch inside the knock, like a light switch, how long is that going to last? Doesn't matter, does it? Because on those knocks, it's my understanding, you can't even change the batteries out of them. It's one and done. They're single use. This is easy to change the battery. You just pull the knock out, you take your battery out, pull it out with a pair of pliers, keep that little rubber o-ring, put that on there, wet it down a little bit so it slides in nice, twist it right in there, put it right in, you test it with the little wire that's built into the knock, or you get your Luminoc tester, right, the paper clip. <laughs> and then you just slide it back in there and boom, good to go. There's no switch, it just takes 20, 25 pounds of pressure to push that in there and turn it on, right? Every crossbow can do that, not a problem. The third reason I love these things is because they are extremely bright. I can see these going through the air. For years I've been bragging about how I watch the arrow fly through the scope. I've come to understand that really what I'm watching is the Luminoc fly through the air. I'm not watching the arrow. The arrow's moving too fast, even on my older, slower crossbows, right? But on the newer ones, my Scorpid, right, for example, Bungie 3.0, at 400 feet per second or so, that arrow's moving too fast without those knocks. I realized that recently when I was testing the different arrows and you know, went back to the factory knock to see if the knock was the issue. It wasn't the issue, but unfortunately, it was the scope that was at issue, right? But when these hit the target, I can still see it in bright sunlight in the middle of the day. I can sit out in the 60-yard backyard on the crossbow balcony, looking out across the yard and see that arrow right where it hit. I don't have to guess. I don't have to get binoculars. I don't have to look through the scope. I don't have to rely on the shadow of the sun to see where the line is on the target. None of that business. I can see very easily with my old eyes where that arrow hit. When friend of Bungie Jim was here we shot a couple of times in the backyard we had his SWAT X1 here and we were shooting that we even shot right up until dusk and we had a chance to test two different knocks going down range the Luminoc and a 10 point variety knock that he uses on those same SWAT X1 arrows that he uses they both work out of that crossbow but there's a difference in the brightness between these two. That's for sure. There's definitely a brightness difference. Yeah. Genevieve's arrows, she's still using some new Fletch igniters. She just doesn't like to change things up. That's fine. That's fine. But I'm telling you, I can't see where she hit. Right? Even a 20-yard, 30-yard shot where she does most of her shooting. I can't tell where those little bobber lights hit. These, I can tell you that in broad daylight, when I was struggling with accuracy issues last year, I had a couple arrows that stuck in the grass. And normally I wait till dark, go down there and you can see the luminot glowing in the grass and all that stuff. But I was able to see these in daylight. Here's one of my beloved spinal taps from friend of Bungie Marshall. And it's got a, uh, the new Fletch igniter in the back of it. I do like a couple of things about this. Like once you get them installed, that's pretty cool. You can install the, there's a little, exactly fit to spec insert in the back that goes in there and you put the little bobber light in here right and those bobber lights you turn them on and not very bright but you know they're meant for being in pitch black fishing right these aren't meant for shooting arrows they're not the other thing i don't like about them you put them in there it all goes together nice and smooth it's way better in that respect than the uh, fire knock is in my opinion but listen to this you know after you shoot it it's wiggling around in here. Moving parts inside your arrow, that's not good for, for arrow flight, I'm betting. You know, that doesn't help. The other cool thing about these that I really, really like is you don't have to guess which ones are appropriate for your arrows. Now, I bought the wrong ones before off eBay. It's not eBay's fault. It's not the seller's fault. It's my fault for buying the wrong product. But you try and force those into the wrong shaft, and that's not a good thing, right? It'll start to split the shaft. you got to make sure you're getting the right ones. But they make it so easy to do so when you go to Luminoc.com. Check out the knock selector on that website. You input your crossbow. You input your arrow, and it will tell you which one is appropriate for your arrow. All you got to do is buy it and enter coupon code Bungie. Now you got to spell Bungie right. B-U-N-J-I-E. <laughs>
But you do that and you get 15% off, spend more than 100 bucks, you get free shipping. But if you use that knock selector, you get the right ones and they fit right in there. If they're too snug or whatever else, because there's some kind of inconsistencies in the shaft or what have you, you can take a little nail file and file it down a little bit, make it fit, not a problem. And when I talk about how bright these are and the fact that they are easy to change the battery out, I mean, you get like 40 hours at least on a battery, but you know, if I'm practicing in the backyard and I pull it out of there and it looks a little dim, I pull it out, put a new battery in it and put it back in place and get it ready to go before I even bring it back upstairs to shoot off the balcony the next time. So I'm always using them, always using them. And that's what I like about them. The batteries are cheap, right? Every once in a while I'll see on a forum or on Facebook, somebody that says, well, I don't use them for practicing. I only use them for, for hunting. And people will say, well, I like this other brand of knock because they have a practice mode, whatever that is. Why on earth would you want to rob yourself of the fun of watching a lighted arrow fly through the air when you're practicing? You realize that practicing, shooting in the backyard, is probably 99.999% of the shooting that you're going to do. Hunting, you're going to take one or two shots a year, maybe, maybe a few more if you're lucky. So you're only going to use the lighted knock a couple of times a year, but struggle to see your arrow the rest of the time all year long. Why on earth would you do that? Shoot a lighted knock, shoot the Burt Coyote Luminock, and shoot it all year long. Every time you pull the trigger, you get to watch that knock. Learn how to change the batteries. It's not a big deal, right? You just pull it out and put in a new battery. And the batteries are cheap. Don't rob yourself of that much fun. Live a little bit. These, I just leave them lit until I'm done shooting, right? And then I go turn them off all at once. Well, hopefully at this point, you understand how important the Burt Coyote Luminock is, at least to me. And if you are going to go use the knock selector on Luminock.com and purchase some of these for your own usage, then there's only one decision left to make. What color? You could do the pink, the orange, maybe red, maybe green. Genevieve likes the green. She really does. I like the orange. It matches Bungie's string. But the choice is simple. HD orange. It's the best one. <laughs> Coupon code Bungie. I hope you're enjoying Crossbow Appreciation Month as much as I am, despite all the problems we've had. And I hope you'll check out the Burt Coyote Luminock. Of all the products out there that I've been using and dabbling with, but using quite seriously over the years, this is the one that I always use. Until next time. All hail Bungie, and all hail the Burt Coyote Luminock.